What's up, card family? Hope everybody's doing awesome. Hey, I'm coming at you on a Friday night with a big stack of new additions. Um, I don't know if I'll go through everything, but first up, um, I completed a, a rainbow, a Chris Carter rainbow, the 96 Ultra Sensations. This is the base, it's gold. And then we have blue parallel, gold marble, pewter. These ones I already had. And then this one popped up. This one is the rainbow foil. It's pretty cool. It's definitely hard to get a picture of and hard to show on camera. But it kind of reminds me of, like if you ever see motor oil in a water puddle. That's kind of what it reminds me of. The little uh, rainbowy effect. So that was pretty cool. Um, according to Trading Card Database, the print run of these was 1% of the actual print run. Whatever that is. A million, a billion, I don't know. But 1% uh, of the print run was the rainbow foil. So that's pretty cool. I don't remember the other ones. I think the pewter was like 9% and the other two were like 30 or something like that. I don't know. But pretty cool. First uh, Chris Carter rainbow that I've completed. Um, so yeah, so let's go through some COMC cards. First I have a 2022 Panini Chronicles Draft Picks Neon Blue Spectra of Adam Thielen. And that one's numbered 49 out of 99. Thought about putting this one in a one touch, but ultimately decided on just the top loader. Next, I have a 21 Prism Red Ice. Another super shiny card. It's beautiful. Gotta love these. Cracked ice cards. They're so gorgeous. And then I have a 99 Collector's Edge Advantage Galvanized Parallel. Chris Carter. Says they're galvanized. And that one's numbered. 410 out of 500, which is... You know, fairly low number for 1999. So nice card there. And then this one was a big disappointment to me. I already had this card, but um, if you followed my channel for any length of time, you know I'm trying to like. I don't. I'm not saying like I'm not super going after the rainbow super hard, but like I'm trying to get every variation in a nine or a ten. And I already had this variation. This is the Mojo Prism. It's numbered out of 49. I already had one, but the one I had, I didn't think was going to get a 9 or a 10, so I didn't send it. And I look, kept looking for another one. I bought this one. Now, this isn't wasn't a cheap card. It's not super expensive or anything, but it isn't, you know, it's not cheap. And look, as you can see, holy cow, look at that refractor line or whatever you want to call it. Now, the other one I have does not have that big line going across. And I didn't even see that in the picture. And even if it didn't have that line, well, you probably won't be able to see, but there's like a, I don't know if you want to call it a chip. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera, but I don't think it would get a, a nine even if it didn't have that line. So that was a big disappointment. I was getting excited about this one coming in and I, I don't know I didn't even see that line on the COMC picture I should have saw that but like I said even if it didn't have that line I don't know if it would get a nine or not so that's a disappointment um I got this 2007 Topps Chrome Refractor one of my all-time favorite pitchers Johan Santana and I just love these I love this horizontal card I love uh photo and the design and the shininess had to pick that up 
And I also got a 1976 Topps Fran Tarkenton. For some reason, this is one that I didn't have. So I grabbed this one for cheap. It's off centered, but otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. Nice clean back. And so, yeah. Then we have the 2022 Prism uh, Silver Chris Carter. Just gotta love the shiny cards, man. All right. Then we have a 2021 Prism Adam Thielen, red, white, and blue. Okay, and here's a card I picked up. Usually when I get a CUMC order, and I usually don't show them off on camera, but I just wanted to make some content here. And uh, I'll usually pick up a couple rookie cards of players I don't collect, but, you know, are super cheap. And, uh, you know, it's almost like an investment. I don't know if I'm going to sell them or not or anytime soon, but Jordan Alvarez, and this is the complete set variation of his rookie card this was a dollar so uh i mean i'll pay that every day all day for a jordan Alvarez rookie card especially like a shorter print one so and even even the mount that were printed a lot of them will never see the light of day because people keep their complete sets sealed so now we have a 21 mosaic orange Orange Mosaic Prism of Adam Thielen. And then we have a, uh, I got a couple autographs in this. This will be a 2007 SP Rookie Edition of a pitcher, Kevin Slowey. That was kind of damaged a little bit on the bottom, which I didn't notice at the time I bought it, but only paid a couple bucks for it. And it'll add. Didn't have a Kevin Slowey autograph, so. Here's another rookie. And a shout out to my good buddy, Scotty Aranya. I grabbed this for oh, about a buck. Boba Shett, he's having a great year. 2020 Gypsy Queen rookie card. Can't go wrong there for a buck. Um, and then I got another rookie card here. This one's PC. Uh, this is a just didn't have this one. This is a 2000 Pacific Paramount rookie card of Johan Santana. So that one's very cool. This is update Paramount update. Uh, here's one for my Kirby folio. A 2022 Allen Ginter X. So I'll go in the binder. Here's another one for another binder card, a 2022 Prism base. Adam Thielen for the binder. Here's another one of those rookie cards, 2020 Allen and Genter, Jordan Alvarez. So it's cool. And then another autograph, a 95 Signature Rookies, Steve Dunn. And this one's numbered 4,000. It's hard to tell if it's 4,000 even, 4,008 or what it is. It's right across his black cleat there. So Steve Dunn, another one I dated. This one here is not going to add to the count. I noticed I had this card and it was in very rough shape and I wanted to replace it. So it's a 97 top stars, Chris Carter for the binder. Here's another binder card. This one, this card, I just, is just ridiculous. Uh, so a 94, uh, Coca-Cola had these, uh, like Halloween cards that came out. I remember Derek Thomas and a few others. And uh, so look at this ridiculous card. Like John Randall as a train. Runaway train. So 94 classic Proline Live Coca-Cola Monsters of the Gridiron. 
it's a neat card, you know. It's ridiculous, but. All right, now we got another Kirby, a 2003 Donruss Timeless Treasures. <laughs> Kirby. And uh, for whatever reason, just hadn't picked that one up. Numbered 46 out of 900. And then a 2022, red, white, and blue. Charism of Kirby. And then what do we have here? We have a 2006 Leaf Rookies and Stars. Ruby Materials. Larry Fitzgerald. Man, I love the way this card looks. The red patch with the red background with the red on his jersey. Just red on red, red. Very cool. Beautiful card out of 250. And then we had another Kirby. This one is a 94 collector's choice. Up close and personal. And um, the normal card has a black border. So this is a variation with the white border. And I think these were supposed to have a gold signature on it maybe. So there's a, I believe there's a gray border. The, the silver signature has like a gray bottom. A gold signature, I think, has this kind of beige white bottom. But doesn't have the signature on it. Isn't black bottom. So it's a variation. And uh, so I always like picking up these sort of oddball variations. All right. And the last card from the COMC order that I want to show is this 2015... Panini Spectra. I've been trying to get all of Chris Carter's uh, Spectra parallels. This card has a little dot right there. Man. Just, that's one major difference between collecting uh, vintage and modern is these little imperfections like that refractor line and this little dot, they really stick out, you know. On a, on a vintage card, you know, they add character or they're not a big deal. But on these modern cards, they stick out like a sore thumb, man. Did not see that on the photo. There you can see it right there. Bottom to his left. Just a little dot. It's not a huge deal, but still, it's noticeable. But it's still a beautiful card, and I'm not too upset about it. Didn't pay a lot for it, so. Number 24 out of 35. And that's it. I got these, this stack of cards and some other cards I could show, but we're over 13 minutes, so let's end it there. Hey, um, if you hadn't seen my last video, doing sort of a challenge on who could, uh, or what was your top 10 favorite cards from your favorite team without duplicating any players on the list, and, uh, had quite a few people uh, make videos for me. I really appreciate it. Everybody's uh, putting their own sort of spin on it, making their own imp interpretation of it. So, um, yeah, look out for that. And if uh, if you have time, make a video. Love to see see your top ten of your favorite team. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite card was, and uh, we'll see you next time.